Well, a battle is expected to end tonight. Concerned residents in McAllen hoping commissioners keep them in mind. Channel 5's Christian Colon says a city will decide if a respite center for immigrants stays in their neighborhood. He joins us now live in our studio. Tonight, commissioners are expected to vote on whether the immigrant respite center will be granted a permit to stay where it is. Some people who are live nearby saying not in my neighborhood. Buses are constantly pulling up to this respite center. Um, we're just not happy with where it's located. Um, we feel like there is a better solution somewhere else, maybe in a commercial area where they would have the better uh, facilities that would take care of these people that are coming in. After Border Patrol processes them, migrants are taken into this facility to receive food, clothes, and bus passes. Then they board again and make their way to their registered families. They spend hours here while they wait. People who live near the center say they see them wandering their neighborhood. We have busloads of people that come in at all hours of the day and night. And so we're just concerned for the other residents that live here for their safety. And we have children and elderly people and people living alone. So we just would like it yes. moved somewhere else. Keating will present her concerns to the commission meeting. They worry for their safety. I just, I just don't feel safe. And there's a lot of people here that don't feel safe. Samora and Keaton have gathered signatures of those opposed for the center to operate in their neighborhood. I have a petition um, with like 50 names and um, some, some of these people that sign here, that they're elderly people, that, that they don't have the, the, the stamina or the, the you know, know-how on how to, how to face this. And it's discouraging sometimes because we hear people say, well, you know, city does what it wants. Samora and Keaton have gathered signatures of those opposed for the center to operate in their neighborhood. Sister Norma Pimentel of the Catholic Diocese says that some residents' claims aren't true. The families never go around or in the neighborhood or, or travel anywhere else. They're, we are very attentive to making sure that we keep them uh, in the facility, in the, in, the play, in the place that we have at the respite center, mostly for their safety. We make sure that they're safe and that they don't go, uh, they have no reason to be anywhere else other than there because they have an urgency to want to join their family. Bimentel adds the only security they have is for the migrants. The city of McAllen spokesperson just texted me saying the, respire, the respite center was denied. They have 90 days to move out. In the studio, Christian Cologne, Channel 5 News at 6.